In this problem, we're looking at a lacquer plant that's going to deliver 100 pounds mass of 8% nitrocellulose solution. Okay, so this is our product here. They have a 5.5% nitrocellulose solution, but they need to add some dry cellulose to it in order to get the desired composition. So someone took the time to do the material balance, and this is what they came up with. So if you look at these, this first equation has both F and M in it, but the second one really could just simply be solved for F is equal to 92 over 0 0.945. Okay, and if you solve that, we find that F is 97.4 pounds mass. Use that in the second or in the first equation and you'll find that M is going to equal 8 minus 0.055F. When you plug in our answer for F, we find that M is equal to 2.65 pounds mass. All right, and again, we can check these by adding them up and be sure that they add up to 100, and they do. So the final question here says that Oops, they didn't need 100 pounds of product. They meant 183 kilograms of product. So now then, if we want to know how much of the dry cellulose that we would use, we can use ratios. And ratios is the preferred technique for doing this. It prevents me from having to go through and rewrite all those material balances, resolve those equations. Okay, it's the reason that we identify usually a basis quantity here. So what that says is that x kilograms of dry cellulose will produce 183 kilograms of product in the same way that 2.65 pounds mass of dry cellul cellulose produced 100 pounds mass of product. So this ratio here can be very easily solved and 183 times 2.65 over 100 x is equal to 4.84 kilograms of dry cellulose.